What's up YouTube, it's Mark from Kentucky, back with another video. Um, I got a small mail day I want to show you guys, and then uh, I also want to uh, thank uh, Mike Monahan, um, baseball collector, for having me on his show, Beyond Cardboard. Uh, it was on a Sunday night, um, if you guys didn't see it, um, I'm going to leave a link below so you guys can check it out. Uh, but it was a lot of fun being on there, I loved answering the questions. Um, I'm sorry for the audio. Uh, I guess I needed to talk uh, a little bit closer to the phone when I was doing it. Um, just turn up the volume on your phone or your computer and you'll be able to hear me just fine. That's what I had to do when I was watching it back. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to put that link below so you guys check it out if you want to learn a little bit more about me and how I collect and how I got started and all that good stuff. Um, but in the mail today, I got um, a, a pretty cool book that's in front of me in Detroit Bookie kind of turned me on this to this book he had it showed it uh, in one of his videos but uh, it's a uh, 300 all all star or 300 all time stars baseball cards book um pretty cool this book was uh published in 1988 um i found this thing on ebay for six bucks and it was another like four dollars for shipping so it ran like 10 bucks i'm gonna stand up and do this try to um but it's pretty neat it's got, um, oops, just the contents where all the players are in it. Introduction, I haven't read the introduction yet, but it's got stars of today. Keep in mind, this was made in 88, so these were the some of the hot players in, in 88, I guess. And then, so it's got, uh, there's Gary Carter's page. Tells a little bit about him, has his career stats up to that point after the 87 season. Uh, Steve Carlton's on this page, pretty cool. And then it goes into stars of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Pretty neat. And there's Hank Aaron, show some of his cards. I haven't read all these uh, articles yet, but pretty neat little book. He's got, they got Ron Safe, Star, Orlando Cepeda, and then it's got Stars of Yesteryear, which is pretty cool. So there's Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Frank Chance, Eddie Collins. But it's a pretty cool book, uh, Mickey Cochran. Pretty cool book. You could pick this thing up pretty cheap on eBay. I thought it was uh, pretty interesting. There's not very many baseball card books out there, so I picked it up. Um, and now I guess I need to show you uh, what I got in the uh, in the mail. Not too much. Um, one card I told you guys I was going to buy when I was doing my 31, top 31 cards that I think you should buy rookie cards. But um, I bought some more Ozzy Albus. I got, uh, there's this um, 15 Bowman Chrome first card. Let me get some more light over here, I think. Um, what is up with my lighting these days? There's that there's that card and I got two of his paper. And this I you know I bought a lot and it ran me uh ten dollars total with shipping. So I thought that was a pretty pretty good deal. You know, three dollars and thirty three cents a card basically. And uh, I really like the chrome Albies rookie. Um and then I also picked up Sure, this is what I think it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Miguel Andahar for the Yankees, third baseman, just tearing it up. Um, this is his 2013 Bowman Chrome card. So. This is his first card. This is what I would consider his rookie card. 
Gosh dang, I can get this shit out of here. Good lord. Need a perfect fit sleeve, it'd been, it'd been better. But there it is, 2013 uh, Bowman Chrome Miguel Andahar rookie card. Um, and then uh, I just want to uh, talk to you about um, two players that I forgot to put on my top 31 modern rookie cards you should own. Um, and I was upset at myself the second I, uh, I turned off the video um, because I, these guys actually were on the list and I just forgot to do them. Um, they'll be on next year's list for sure. But uh, one is Jose Abreu. That's his 14 um, Bowman Chrome, his first Bowman card. He's got like, I think he's got like 22 home runs this year, close to 80 RBIs, but he just went on the DL. But uh, he was, he's a heck of a player. And this other one, uh, Jesus Aguilar for the Brewers, he's tearing it up. He's batting like 275, 276, somewhere in there. He's got 29 home runs, like 91 RBIs. Uh, he's having a heck of a year for the Brewers. But those two I left off the list. They'll be on the list next year, I think. Um, just wanted to show those because I deserve, think they deserve a little bit of credit for the seasons that they're having. Um, but that's all I got for this time, guys. Uh, so uh, hopefully you guys leave some comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe and keep on collecting.